Olisa, um, last season, of course, you did not see much of game time, but coming into this season, we can still we can see you coming back into the team. You know, making uh, the starting eleven on a regular basis. How far are you are personal in terms of performance? Are you happy? What is it that you can still do more uh, moving forward? I think um, since coming back from my injury, um, I've been pushing myself a lot, and I think I'm getting better gradually every game. And um, yeah, I'm not back to my old self, but yeah, but I think gradually I'm getting there. So yeah, I was out for a couple of months, I think about eight to nine months before I played the final. So yeah, it was a very difficult period for me, but I'm happy to be back. You're back and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, you come into a very big, big, big match. You missed the previous one, of course, due to suspension, but now it's a Soweto derby and it's a big one. Surely getting used to playing these derbies. Yeah, I think um, I enjoy the atmosphere. Um, I enjoy the preparation to the derby because um, it's very important for us. Um, this is one of the most important games for us this season. And um, yeah, I, I really enjoy the derby. I enjoy the atmosphere because of this. The stadium is full and we have our family watching. Yeah, I'm always happy to play the derby. Well, listen, looking at it, this derby for a lot of players is make or break. I remember you were flying at the time and then you had the, the derby yeah. mistake. I wouldn't even call it a mistake because you can argue whether yeah. it was or wasn't. But how crucial is that? Do you think that it's it's, it's a defining factor um, if we want to call it that? Because for a lot of players you can get started off of it, but for a lot of players also it can dent the confidence you've been building the whole season. Yeah, like you said, it's a make or break situation. <laughs> but, um, for me personally, um, I don't think um, the own goal I scored was the end of the world for me because I've was i um, been mentally prepared because I'm a centre-back, I'm a defender, so these things happen in football. So Yeah, obviously it was demoralising, yeah, so I had a lot of conversation with my dad, my family, and um, they talked me through it, so yeah, and I'm back and better. Alisa, a friend of mine says you do as you please at the back, you don't even play like a defender because you're so comfortable on the ball. I mean, sometimes Ushai Vahana, I mean, in tense situations, you know how to play out. What, what, what is it that makes you so comfortable? Were you always a defender or how do you get to this comfort within high pressure situations? Um, I wasn't always a defender. Um, I played in the midfield a lot. so. I started playing defense, um, I think a couple of years ago, for a long time now, yeah. So yeah, um, right from time when there was an injury or something, the old coach always puts me there to play. And um, yeah, I think um, I grew into it, I'm very comfortable there, that's why I use the ball a lot and yeah. You're playing against Kaiser Chiefs on Saturday, they want to win this match, you want to win this match. The previous one went to Orlando Pirates. How personally and how prepared are you as individuals and as a team? No, as a team, we're prepared, you know, um, because um, I don't think our last game showed how prepared we are for the derby. But um, it's, it's the derby, so it changes. And um, I think the guys are really excited. Everyone wants to play the derby. Um, I think we're very, very prepared for this. Mm -hmm. Saturday, it's Saturday morning today. What does Olisa normally do in front, ahead of a big game like this? <laughs> ahead of... Every game in general, I do my morning routines, like I pray every morning once I wake up, um, I read the Bible, I speak with my pastor, and a um, couple of hours before the game, I always speak with my, my mom and my dad, and that's basically what I do. Another one, if I may add, it's, it's a thing of the past, now that uh, I see the man from Korogo is here. Um, your, 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 your national team, yeah. the Super Eagles, did so well in the, in the, in the uh, AFCON, but you were not part of that squad. Was it something that you, you were looking forward to and when it didn't happen, seeing that you had a few stints within the team, uh, where's your space with the, with the team and what do you make of the whole performance throughout the, the, the AFCON? No, I think the guys did a wonderful job in the AFCON. Um, yeah, obviously everyone wants to play in the AFCON, but um, Nigeria is a big nation. and. We have a lot of players all over Europe, and yeah, I think um, the guys that played did a wonderful job. Um, I'm not really depressed or not happy. I was happy for the team, 
um, they did a fantastic job and yeah, I just have to work and work harder to get back Happy into the team. Happy for Nabali as well? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs>